our text, Luke 11 verse 11 through 13. And how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those that ask Him? Our heading, ask, seek, knock. You that have fallen into a mournful state, do not be afraid to cry out to God in the language of the psalmist. You find David all over the psalms crying out to God. I know we sometimes, though, feel as we must not and we dare not pray. We have become so dull, so lifeless, so unworthy, that we do not expect to be heard and feel as if it would be presumption to cry. But our Heavenly Father loves to hear the children of Him to cry all day long. Firstly, assuredly the Lord wishes His children to have strong desires after Him. Desire then, and let those desires be strong and energetic. If you can cry out to Jesus, He will joyfully hear you. If you will give Him no rest, He will give you all the rest you need. The Lord finds music in His children's cries. Oh, you say, I would cry, but mine is such a quarrelsome and foolish cry. You are the very man to cry, for your sorrow will put an emphasis into your voice. A dying moan from a little one will pierce his mother's heart. See, she presses the baby to her bosom. She cries, my dear dying child, and weeps over it. You too shall be pressed to the bosom of everlasting love if you can only groan or sob or sigh. Second, only be you careful that you not be happen, happy in a dry and thirsty land. Be careful that you not be content to be away from God, for if you will not rest till you have get to Him, you shall soon f- have Him. If you will groan after him, you shall find him. A sigh will fetch him. May there be much longing, panting, and pleading among us at this hour. Do not let anyone be satisfied to remain in a dull state. Application. Now, child of God, if you have fallen into a dull state, I beseech you now to labor to rise out of it. And I do this first because you are not a person to be in such a state. Yours is the land that flow with milk and honey. You are like David, driven out of Canaan for a time. But you must never be satisfied till you got back to Jerusalem. And I pray, O Holy Father, grant us the strength and the courage, the endurance to get back to Jerusalem. In Jesus' name, Amen.